Hey, just another quick video to show you the gyrometer sensor this time. Uh, you can see I have a whole bunch of screens here. This is my Samsung Series 7 tablet. This is my Microsoft Surface RT. This is my desktop machine. And then I have uh, a prototype Qualcomm tablet sitting here. And so you can see in each case um, that I may or may not actually have a gyroscope sensor. I was actually very surprised that the Samsung does not, um, but apparently it's not feeding any readings into the system. So we can see very clearly that it doesn't work. Uh, with the surface here, I'll use this one as an example. If I pick it up, you'll see that I have uh, these lines that emanate out in the three different directions. We have an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. The z-axis is the blue one. Oh, the screen decided to go to sleep. And so you can see that as I rotate, I'm getting a whole bunch of data and just moving it. And as I move more and more, the, the data values get higher and higher. Uh, it's actually measuring the rotational velocity. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the angular velocity, and so that's why the faster we move, the, the higher the numbers will be. Um, and then, of course, I have my Qualcomm tablet over here, and I'm just going to wiggle this one a little bit to show that that works as well. Um, but you can see that, um, obviously, I don't have this in my PC, and this device also does not have it. So just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that and kind of get a quick glance at how this all works.